I finally got my chance on the iPad OS and yeah guys I'm very sorry I'm late for this video but still I'm here I'm glad to that and in this video we are going to majorly focus on the iPad OS changes and features because iOS 13 it's all same for the iPad also so if you guys want to check out the iOS 13 just go in the description there's a link for the iOS 13 so in this video let's focus on the iPad OS so let's start with the new home screen so now you can have six icons in a row they look smaller and also 24 in total in a single screen now you can attach a widget panel directly onto your home screen just go to edits and you need to turn this on i'm just turning it off for right now so if you turn off it you will see it like this you will feel you need to swipe again and again to get access to the widget panel and if you want to attach it forever just turn it on now it will attach to your home screen forever this makes it look new so now you can take screenshot with your apple pencil just swipe up from the left down corner of the screen and now you will have the screenshot and actually with a very new tool palette that can be resized and can be dragged anywhere you want just select any tool and just drag it anywhere on the screen and with ipad os the apple pencil's latency has been reduced to 9 milliseconds from 20 milliseconds and with that it really feels smooth and natural so now you need to learn a few more gestures to copy paste and edit like so if you want to copy just drag on the words like this and pinch it with three fingers like this and it says copy and to paste it just go to the location you want to paste it and just unpinch like that with three fingers and it says paste it now swipe like this with three fingers to undo it and it's really easy to do and you can also redo it by swiping to the opposite direction so something with a keyboard that we are known to already now you can just pinch it with two fingers to make it look small and drag it anywhere on the screen to make yourself comfortable while tapping with this huge screen and you can also use now quick part tapping from the ios 13 which makes it more comfortable and in the files application you get an awesome feature that makes it a true pc replacement feature of ipad os that means now you get support of attaching usb drives external drives and even card readers and it will show in your files application itself and if you attach it under that browse tab you will see that attached device and with this you get a more detailed manner to view your all folders and files very conveniently and easily and the most useful and the most talked about feature of ipad os yeah the multitasking and split screen view so in the ipad os the multitasking and split screen view is on a very next level you guys can't even imagine so now you can have same applications open side by side for example say notes just tap and hold and drag it to left or right side of the screen to have it multitask like this it's a split screen view and you can have actually two applications you can even close this by the sliding and there's a close button itself and again if you open notes right there and if i do this again and if i want to know how many notes apps are already open so just drag up the bar tap the notes application that's a expose app so you can see how many windows of notes are already open okay so now the final deal with the multitasking and this feature is actually so immersive and makes your work twice as productive so for example open notes and this extra note open right here i'm just making it a floating window so now i'm going to add some more applications like mail and then music over here and then i'm just adding the last application safari so did you just see that small bar over there in the floating window so you can now just swipe up to expose all the applications that are open in that floating window you can just move them and kill them by just swiping up just like you've done in the app switcher itself and now you can change or just jump between application by just swiping left or right using that bar over there just like you did with the iphone x gestures and of course this makes it the real multitasking you don't need to go back to another application and again and again you have all the application in a single application and you can also just resize it by using these swipe gestures you already known to and these multitasking features make the ipad operating system the real ipad os so a small feature that has been added to the ipad os that is the download manager to safari so that means you can download music photos and those downloads are available in the files application in a download specific folder and an awesome feature that i had already made you known to that is dark mode just go to brightness haptic touch on it and you will see an option called dark mode enable it and it looks awesome so these are some major changes and features of ipad os and i actually tried to make them real quick in a few minutes so that i can also tell you some other minor features of ipad os with some performance changes so performance wise applications launched two times faster in ipad os and face id is now 30 percent faster than before 
and the size of the applications are now 50% smaller in download size and app update will be now up to 60% smaller on an average so now there's a very special feature in ipad os that lets you control your ipad without touching the screen physically and do not confuse with siri this is a kind of different right here so now you need to learn certain commands to do actions like for example if you are to go back to home screen just say go home and it will take you right there so i think you can understand what kind of commands you have to use they are very basic just if you want to scroll down just say scroll down like that and ipad will hear you don't worry and so with ipad os you get all kind of 3d touch functionality and this is actually haptic touch not 3d touch you can activate by just tapping and holding very lightly just like you did normally before and it will activate the touch and just pop up with some shortcuts that you can do frequently so that's it guys the ipad os the actual ipad operating system to its finest and this is the best operating system in my opinion so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for more because there's a lot more videos coming out in the future so make sure you hit the subscribe button and break that like button so that anyone is unable to unlike it okay just kidding thanks for watching again hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for more peace out